Hello fellow customizers, today I'm customizing a thrift store dartboard featuring the artwork by Frank Frazetta titled The Moon Maid and the Centaur. If you like watching these videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below as to what you are currently working on. While I have painted Frank Rosetta pieces in the past, they were always very small. So when I saw this thrift store dartboard, I knew the outside doors would be perfect for my favorite Frazetta piece titled The Moon Maid and the Centaur. To keep things a little tidy, I'm going to mask the insides first. The main reason for all of the masking tape is because I assumed I would be using an airbrush much more. However, I only used it for the initial navy blue base coat, which I could have easily done with a large paintbrush. With a piece of chalk, I am mapping out the locations of where everything will fit. All of the paints I'm using are from Angelus Direct, which are actually acrylic leather paints, which I primarily use for sneakers, denim, or wearable canvas such as Vans or Converse. And I am very comfortable with this paint, so I know it'll be perfect for this project. With my background pretty much complete, it's time to sketch on the Moon Maid and the Centaur. As you see, I'm using a piece of chalk sharpened with an X-Acto knife. I am using a Princeton Select size 18 short liner for the finer details, as well as navy blue and too thin from Angelus Direct. The too thin will help my paint stay blendable on the surface.
To achieve that shadow on the moon maid's back, just under her cape, I am using a blend of violet, olive green, and Georgia peach. The olive green is my go-to color for all of the shadows. My only reference for this project is my iPad. Before I hang this dartboard on the wall, I'm going to use a semi-gloss finisher purchased locally. And this is the complete Frank Frazetta piece titled The Moon Maid and the Centaur on a thrift store electric dartboard. Unfortunately, the dartboard ended up not working once plugged in. However, I still love how this came out. It has a real 1970s mural van vibe. And if you have any questions, reach out to me through my Instagram or my website. Both links are down below as are links to all the products I use in this video. Big thanks to Angela's Direct for the paints and thanks guys for watching. <laughs>